Once the boiler receives a call for heat from the thermostat and turns on, the sensor detects these vibrations. These slow flashing light signals indicate that the sensor is in learning mode and is adapting to this particular boiler for the first time. Once learning mode is over, the slow flashing stops and the light will remain constantly on, indicating that the sensor has detected that the boiler is on. So now the light is constantly on and the sensor has picked up the vibration signature of the boiler. If we were to turn the boiler off, there will be a three second delay between the time when the flame on the boiler stops and that the light turns off. Uh, this is for the sensor to be able to compare its current state to its new state when the, bo when the boiler is off. So now the LED is off. These short blinking signals indicate that the Wi-Fi radio connection is established and active. Now, if we were to turn the boiler on again, there will be a three second lag between when the flame comes on and the sensor light comes on. The induction air fan is now on. The flame just kicked on. And now the light is on after a three second delay. And now if we were to turn it off, you would see another three second lag. The before and after lag times cancel each other out and then we're left with the total time that the flame was on for. So now the sensor indicates that it's back off. And now if we check our server where we have all of our sensors, You can see that for this particular one, the serial number is 256. Its last communication with the server was 15 seconds ago. The radio communication state is currently good for the Wi-Fi. Uh, the boiler is right now off, meaning that the flame is not on. The last cycle was 31 seconds ago. And during that cycle, the boiler was on for 23 seconds and off for 34 seconds. This is the information that gets combined with the specifications of your boiler, which uh, is inputted for each particular one uh, when the sensor gets set up. And this tells us the capacity of the nozzle and how much fuel it burns per hour of operation. All of this gets uh, processed and sent to the smartphone interface that's shown in the main video.